every so often, a cool game project catches my eye. Okay, let's be honest, it happens just about every day. But this one really does have something special going on under the hood. Despite its size, Tiny Tires is 10 years in the making. This footage dates back to 2014, and the game's Steam page just went live a few days ago, so you can all go wishlist it now. There are two things that make this game pretty unique, in my opinion. First is the top-down viewpoint, which helps you see more of the racetrack ahead and keep tabs on any opponents trying to pass you. Second are the tracks themselves. We have the classic breakfast table, where you'll be racing under and leaping off utensils, scooting around spilled milk, and even using bits of cereal to mess with everyone. The roulette table, a personal favorite of mine, which kind of shows off some depth to the game, using cards as ramps, and making some pretty big drops off obstacles. A little peek at this sandcastle beachy level. And finally, the desk filled with pencils and blueprints that started it all. As you can see, Tiny Tires will feature local split-screen multiplayer, supporting up to four racers, as well as different game modes. Your regular old racing mode, Endurance, which is sort of a follow-the-leader type situation. If you get too far behind, then you're eliminated. Last one standing wins. And then there's Free Play, where you can explore each level freely, get to know the lay of the land, and practice any tricky jumps or shortcuts you might come across. If you're familiar with the series, then you probably immediately thought of the main inspiration for the project, the Micro Machines games, which I have not played but I know I would have spent countless hours on as a kid, and honestly as an adult too. But there are also tons of other compact racing games you might want to check out if you like the look of this one. All links down below. Parking Garage Rally Circuit also just got a Steam page. Totally genius idea since parking garages are usually even tighter than most rally courses that I've seen in games. A more chill rally game that came out in 2020 is Art of Rally, which shares a similar top-down view with tiny tires. Pretty chill, but not quite zen because it still is a racing game after all. And then the GOAT Muppet Race Mania, specifically the diner level. This game was honestly so ahead of its time in 2000. Like the mix of regular behind-the-shoulder racing levels, and then these almost 2D platformer-esque side-scrolling challenges, ridiculously fun. I also remember playing this game called RC Cars on the old family PC. Obviously, controlling a tiny car is something that really speaks to me, and a bunch of other people since you're all still here. One last game, coming to Steam on April 9th, that gives me some similar vibes, is Yellow Taxi Goes Vroom. I recently played the demo and it is very wacky. It's got this Super Mario 64 style hub where you can jump into different maps, zoom around, talk to people, find secrets, everything you could want in a game like this. But yeah, just wanted to share this little project with you and reminisce on some other car slash racing games that don't take themselves too seriously. Let me know if there are any I missed. You all always give me the best suggestions in the comments. And I do like to talk about driving games occasionally, so give these a watch too.